What's up everyone, this is Wes. Um, wanted to introduce to my YouTube channel, um, myself and my car. I know I've got several videos out there already, but hadn't, uh, hadn't really done any talking on anything. All of them are old Fiesta racing videos and some Mustang stuff here or there, but um, my name's Wesley. This is my 2018 Mustang GT. Um, so kind of want to introduce it to the channel because I'm going to be doing some stuff with it here and there, doing some racing, some driving, some cruising, whatnot with it. Um, so I'll get started. So kind of what led me on to this, um, you know, I've been wanting one of these Gen 3 10 speed cars for about a year now. Tried to buy one last year, things just didn't work out right, um, so ended up keeping the Fiesta before. Um, most of you probably know that car, I had a 2015 Fiesta ST, a little 1.6 EcoBoost car, uh, molten orange, um, you know, had a Peron big turbo kit, uh, Ron from Woosh hooked me up with a lot of stuff, thanks Ron. Um, but uh, ended up um, starting to have some issues with that car. My uh, girlfriend at the Lady Bane um, had kind of talked me into getting a Mustang again because we've, we've well, I've had three before this one and she has too, but um, we had uh, we'd started talking about it and I started wanting one again. So did some looking around, you know, used car market's pretty crazy right now and um, was uh, scrolling through Auto Trader sitting at work one day and found this little gym sitting up at a car lot in Owasso about seven or eight miles from my house. Um, and uh, it was a pretty good price, so we went and checked it out. And uh, you know, it was, it was a pretty clean car for the most part. So um, called the dealership the next day. It was a classic Chevy up off of 86th Street in Owasso. More on that later. But um, called them up, kind of got things in motion. And uh, this was uh, so we checked it out for the first time on a Sunday, and then went and ate dinner. Uh, when I was at work the next morning, I called them to get some more info on it, to you know, fill out a credit app and get things going on it. Um, I ended up going up there after I got off work about 6 or 6.30 or so and um, tried to work a deal out with them. Their manager that was there that night was kind of a jack wagon, you know, not real helpful or real explanatory on anything. So um, ended up walking out on it that night and then, uh, you know, just decided to try to make the good financial decision and, you know, uh, keep what I had because it was, you know, relatively inexpensive payment and, you know, monthly cost. But, um, a couple days later, it started having some pretty big issues. You know, I had already put two engines in that thing and a whole bunch of other stuff, and it was it was eating me up pretty bad already. So, um, ended up uh, letting it sit over that weekend, and then I got back in contact with my sales guy Matt and uh, asked him if they still had the car. They did, so I went back up there on a Tuesday and uh, looked at the car again. They had a different manager work. They had a different manager working that night and uh, things went a lot smoother so um, ended up purchasing the car and then I noticed there were not really necessarily anything wrong with it but the uh, the tires were in pretty rough shape uh, you know brakes were a little shaky while slowing down um, it had actually been owned by a rental car company for the first 15 or 20,000 miles uh, in Georgia and then owned by a private owner here in Oklahoma somewhere um, so it took them about seven days to send the car through service and um, they called me and uh, told me it was ready to come pick up so i was pretty excited i uh, left the shop that i work at in broken arrow to drive up to owasso to go pick it up you know get there everything went fine traded the fiesta out for the mustang and then drove this back to the shop i did all that uh i think it was on my lunch break and so um i get it back up to the shop and you know uh, you know in that new car honeymoon phase, you know, it was pretty cool um, You know, I really love these cars had been wanting one for a while So it's pretty pretty ecstatic that I was able to get one and um, so I decided to pull it in the shop and get it up on a lift and um, You know, I, I, I racked the car uh, You know put the lift arms under it and I popped the hood uh, checked the oil and whatnot uh, to start off with it was two quarts low on oil um, I'm assuming they probably didn't realize it was a Gen 3 car, which holds 10 quarts of oil compared to a Gen 2 car, which is uh, 8, I believe. So, um, topped it off with a couple quarts of oil and some BG MOA. Um, you know, not, didn't, you know, wasn't thrilled about it, but not the end of the world. Uh, the car ran and drove fine. And then uh, I, I raised it up and found that the same tires that were on it that I told them about were still on it. And, um, 
So I was uh, pretty upset about that. They had told me that the inspection passed and the tires were three to four millimeters all the way around, which, uh, you know, I wasn't really able to get under the car a whole lot while it was there. So I, I knew they were thin, but I wasn't really gonna argue with them. Uh, so I got the car up on the rack at work and uh, raised it up and the, uh, the rear tires were so thin that you could literally scratch rubber with your fingernails off of them and get down to cords. Um, the wear bars were the best part about the tires. And uh, so I ended up, uh, I, I checked all the other tires. The left rear tire actually had a plug on the inside of the sidewall, which as you all know is a big no-no. Um, so called up there, um, you know, obviously wasn't happy. I spoke to Dustin, their uh, used car manager on duty at the time. Um, Man, I will say they, they did make some pretty big mistakes, but Dustin was always willing to help, uh, you know, uh, help get it fixed. Um, so I called up there and I said, this is what's going on. I texted pictures to your sales guy phone. Um, and, uh, you know, something needs to be done about this. I'm going to Arkansas this weekend and these tires are not safe to drive on. Uh, and so he, he said, he said, all right, I'm going to get those pictures. I'm going to go talk to my general manager. Give me 10 minutes. I'll call you back. And sure enough, he did. And uh, he said, well, I can't, I can't authorize a set of tires shipped directly to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick a check in the mail for a thousand bucks along with your title. I said, okay, that sounds good. So I turned around, I ordered a set of tires through the shop I work at. Um, you know, I was able to do a few other things with that. They, uh, I, I will say, you know, I, I wasn't really thrilled with the whole buying process, but they did make right on the mistakes. At the end of the day, that's really all that matters. Um, so I got the car, I ordered a set of tires for it. Um, I just got the stock 235 50 18s. Uh, I got, uh, instead of Pirelli's, I got Continental DWS 06s. I've been really happy with them so far. Um, dry traction is great. Very quiet, very well. The tires ride really well. Um, I haven't had it in any rain yet, so I can't really comment on that. I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, straight line traction is great. Um, so I got the tires put on it about 24 hours later and uh, immediately it was a lot better driving car. I do still need to get it aligned. The steering wheel's a hair off to the right, but not the end of the world. Car drives really well. Um, so I got the tires put on the car, took it out to the Thursday night Broken Arrow Brewing Company meet. Me and my girlfriend did. She rode her motorcycle out there. Everything was great. Car was running and driving really well. Was really happy with it. And I uh, was planning on taking it to the track that uh, the next Friday night, a little bit uh, over 24 hours later. And a good buddy of mine, Chance Todd, with his turbo white Boss 302, um, had some drag radials he said he'd let me borrow. So uh, fast forward to Friday, I get off work, run up to Chance's house. He lives in Owasso. And got the wheels and tires swapped over. They looked really good. They were a set of a VMS 17 by 10 or 10 and a half on a 305 45 17 Mickey Thompson SS uh, drag radial. And I uh, got the car to the track. Car ran flawless. It was hotter than all hell. And uh, you know, it was 95 degrees with like 50% humidity. DA was almost 4,000 feet. Um, can't knock the car for not running what it should. It went 1266 at 113 miles an hour. And I kid you not, I have nothing done to this car. It is as stock as stock gets. Um, I did put a K&N air filter in it and that is all the car had at that point in time. Uh, so the car ran great, swapped wheels and tires, gave them back to him, drove it home. The Man, this is an awesome car, I tell you what. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with it right now. Um, you know, I don't really have any crazy plans or anything for this car. Um, the biggest things for right now are going to be getting the tag and the payments paid for. Um, you know, this is a quite, uh, you know, quite a much better car than anything I've had in the past before. So taking care of those responsibilities first. Um, I did manage to get a 409 stainless MBRP X-Pipe resonator delete put in place of it and uh, really woke up the sound difference of the car and it uh, sounds, sounds really, really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, install was pretty simple and the instructions they want you to take off the whole cat back which i thought was kind of excessive so i just used a screw jack at work and uh you know kind of mocked up the x pipe made my cuts and a few trims and uh got it installed all in all it took about an hour hour and a half no big deal with basic hand tools um 
the local part store should have a set of tailpipe cutters. Those will come in super handy. Just, uh, you know, make your marks with a permanent marker and you're good to go. So um, that's where we're at right now. You know, uh, like I said, don't have any crazy plans for it. Um, definitely going to stay naturally aspirated for a couple years at least probably. Um, car runs really, really, really well for what it is. I'm super happy with it. The performance is awesome. This, uh, this Gen 3 460 horsepower direct and port injected Coyote engine screams. The 10 speed is awesome. Uh, it is the the programming and the software is great, especially for stock calibration. I've driven a lot of automatic transmissions, especially Fords, that were garbage, and um, this this could not be further from that. So, uh, really happy with the car, how it performs. Um, it looks good. It runs good. It drives good. Um, you know, all in all, uh, even for a base model car, this thing is as basic as base gets. The only options it has is the 10 speed transmission and these 18 inch uh, Mach 5 spoke wheels, I think is what they call them, which I didn't really care for them at first. They're growing on me. Um, I think probably what I'll do to make them stand out a little bit is paint or powder coat the calipers a gloss black with like a red or orange sticker, uh, you know, Mustang or GT or something like that to. Uh, Kind of coordinate with the past orange vehicles I've had and also my girlfriend's Yamaha MT-09 she's got. So um, that's really about all the plans I've got for it right now. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do a basic walk around real quick. I'll also be posting some sound clips of the exhaust video. Um, maybe one of these days I'll be smart enough to splice them all into the same video, but uh, today is not that day. So. I'll, uh, I'll walk around it real quick and uh, let me know if you guys like this video and uh, let me know if you want to see some more. It's in my garage. I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Good interior shot here. Cloth black seats. Small radio. I think I'm going to get a vanity plate that says rental. Factory quad tip exhaust that I love. So. That's it for right now, guys. I'll get back some more with you, and uh, we'll we'll see where we can't take this thing. <laughs> 